Oh. So the Lord's been, um, he just spoke to me really strongly. And he told me that there will be a great falling away. And everything's going to happen exactly as is written in the Bible. And <laughs> the false prophets who change God's word, exactly what God's word says about them will come to pass. Revelation 22, 18 and 19. Anyone who adds to the words of this scroll, God will add to them the plagues described. And anyone who takes away from the words of this scroll, God will take away from their share in the tree of life. Five were wise and five were foolish. The foolish went to hell. You who are lukewarm, I'm going to vomit you up. The lukewarm go to hell. Brother will betray brother even unto death. And many will turn away from the faith. And there will and you will be hated by all nations because of me, said the Lord. Everything's going to happen exactly as is written according to God's word. <clears throat> The harvest of the earth, the bridegroom will be a long time in coming, but before the harvest of the earth, that and be, before the day of Christ and are being gathered unto him, do not be deceived by any means. That day will not come until first there be a great falling away and the man of sin is revealed. After the gospel goes out, for sure, most assuredly, beyond the shadow of a doubt, you know this is true, that the gospel goes out to every nation, language, tribe, and people. Then Babylon the Great falls. Then the mark of the beast comes out. Then there's great persecution. Great distress, such has not ever been since the beginning, and never will be ever again. And if those days had not been cut short, no flesh would survive, but yet for the sake of the elect. Those days are shortened, and it, they're shortened when the number is complete of those who are to be put to death for their faith. That's Revelation chapter 6, verse 11. There's a number that, me, that has to be... This is God's word, folks. There is a number that must be complete. Of those who are to be put to death for their faith. And all the false teachers. All those who teach lies. are, And all those who, who change what the word of God says. Or take verses of scripture and throw them out. Or say that that doesn't apply today. Or say that God doesn't speak today. These are the weeds among the wheat. These are the goats. These are the foolish virgins. Those who are easily deceived into believing in things like Nibiru. I'm just saying easily deceived. Silly little dove of Ephraim. Uh, like a silly dove easily deceived. And not so many of you should presume to be teachers. Do you not know that we who teach will be judged more strictly? And Jesus says, if your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. He's not talking about you cutting your hand. He's talking about the body of Christ. He's saying, even if someone, he says, depart from me for I never knew you, you worker of iniquity. And these are people who said, but Lord, Lord, he says, why do you call me Lord and do not do what I say? These are all things that will absolutely, beyond the shadow of a doubt, come to pass. And it would be proof that he is Lord, that his word is true, and that the prophets and apostles are his servants. And it's important you understand the word servant. It says in his word that God does nothing unless he reveal it to his servants, the prophets. Anybody who's not a servant of God is not a prophet. And these people who teach, they miss 
teach the, the role of God and they teach things like God cannot do anything unless he gets permission from man. They're teaching lies and what is reserved for them is what the Bible says is reserved for those who are false teachers. So I'm just I'm reiterating that this everything that the Bible says is going to come to pass as it says and you got to keep your heart right, keep your lamp trimmed and burning, keep your vessel full of oil, store up for yourself treasure in heaven where moth cannot destroy, where rust cannot destroy, where thieves cannot break in and steal, a treasure stored up for you eternally that will not rust, it will not perish, it will not fade. And the Lord showing me, this is it. It may not appear yet because there's a time of peace and safety. And God will even allow that to happen and cause this whole thing with Turkey and Russia, how Turkey shot down a Russian plane and Russia's acting like they're all upset. They're allies, folks. That's just a stage. I'm telling you that whole thing is staged to make everybody think, oh, well, Russia doesn't have any friends or whatever it is. I'm saying, I'm just saying, you watch. You watch and see what's going to happen. Because if you think you know who the Antichrist is, well, he's behind the destruction of Babylon the Great then. It's the Trojan horse. How do you destroy the greatest nation in the earth other than sneaking in in the Trojan horse style? Just saying. 